This is a story of two best friends. Me and my best friend. That's my best friend Alice. And that's me there, Gemma. Me and Alice are the bestest, closest friends in the whole wide world ever. I've known her all my life, and I know a lot of people say that, but in our case, it's true. We were both born at the same time on the same day, Christmas Eve babies. The best presents our parents ever had. Gemma. 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 Alice. Gemma! And really, ever since then, we spent every waking hour together. Well, you do that when you're best friends, don't you? And we just knew we were going to be best friends forever and ever. A beauty therapist and she works really hard especially since my dad stopped working one day he just walked out of his job and never went back and although everybody feels sorry for aunt karen because alice's dad walked out on them when alice was little we know that secretly she goes computer dating on the internet for home, my mum's back. <laughs> you? Well, it's Wednesday. I love Greek salad. Why is it Greek? I don't know. Sometimes you get this really warm feeling that your life's just right and that things will always be the same every day, forever. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Like Alice and me, we've always known that we'll grow up and share a house together and it'll be brilliant. Do you think our house will really look like this? Of course it will. Wow. Oh, and I've got to have a study at home for when I'm running my international company of really important workings and doings. Oh. And I've got to have a room for my football school too. Yeah. Oh. But there's always something that's going to ruin everything. And it usually involves... boys. about is their little brum brum cars. <laughs> Especially big dumpy ones like him. I reckon he fancies you. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to ever see him again. As long as I live. <laughs> Everybody, this is Billy McVitie. <laughs> Miss, everyone calls me Biscuits. Right then, Biscuits. <laughs> well, here at Crabtree Juniors, we operate a best friend system where I assign you a best friend, you know, to help you settle into your new routine. I was going to give Eugenia May O'Reilly, but unfortunately she sprained her ankle doing a special dance for the Lord Mayor. <laughs> it's not funny. 
She cartwheeled right into the Lady Mayoress, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Gemma, do grow up. <laughs> Gemma? <laughs> right. Well, you can be Biscuit's best friend. <gasps> Alice, go and move over next to Francesca. There's a good girl. That's out of order, miss. Toilets are out of order, Gemma, not people. Do I look like a toilet? Yes. <gasps> a big smelly one. Right. Alice, move. Today. Don't! You're not going anywhere. Control your temper, Gemma. sit next to Francesca, no friends. Look, we want to be together, right? Of course we do. Then we're going to have to get rid of that biscuit. Yeah. Come on. And if you'd like me to have a crack at your moustache as well, Rita, I'd only charge a fiver on top. Does that sound okay? Oh, you know, I've got the most fabulous treatments for you. And while Mum was giving free advice to the neighbours, our advice to one particular person was bog off. Hello? Um, may I speak to Biscuits McVitie, please? Speaking. Um, Mrs Maynard has got nits, I'm afraid, so school has got to be cancelled. What? Really? How long for? Forever. So don't bother coming in tomorrow or ever, OK? Is that you, Gemma? What? Time for plan B. What is plan B? I don't know. to get here. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Oh! Problem, Gemma. <laughs> now, Gemma, I want you to be extra nice to Biscuits today because it's the anniversary of his mum's death. Now, do you know what that means? I mean, it's really hard when you lose someone you love when something so close to you is ripped away like that. Miss. <laughs> Biscuits! Gemma! Alice! Get 
This was an immature and downright offensive stunt, which left Miss Mania with her dignity exposed. With my nail glue. I wondered why I couldn't find that this morning. I accused one of the other girls of nicking it. It was dead funny. Oh, so we're a comedian now, are we? Gemma! Gemma, if I have got to meet this headmaster, I have got to take time off work. And if I've got to take time off work, that means there's less money coming in this house. And with Christmas coming up, that certainly isn't funny. Oh, can you get her out of my sight, please, Dad? <sighs> I love my granddad. He's my all-time absolute favourite relative. And he drives this wicked car, so sometimes I get to ride in it. There you go. <laughs> Even when I'm feeling really down and fed up, he makes me feel mega special. <laughs> no, don't. And uh, be careful what you're treading. <laughs> Just there, look. He lives in the tallest block of flats in the whole wide world. In the bird's nest, as he calls it, or in the tippy-tippy top, as I call it. All I was trying to do was skip me and Alice back together. Well, nothing's ever going to split you and Alice up. Not really. The headmaster might. What you need is camouflage. He'll never catch you, then. Hmm. Why do you like plants so much? They're dead boring. I don't, really. I just like these plants. These were your grand's pride and joy. So I'm, like, watering them for her, really. She had very green fingers, your grand. They won't split you two up, don't worry. Do you not think so? No. What colour were Miss Muneer's knickers when she stuck to that chair? <laughs> Red. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to tie this plant up so it doesn't get away. Mm. So, where did you say you were going again? I'm going to a Christmas party. Christmas? <laughs> did I say Christmas? I meant to say summer. I'm going to my work summer party. <laughs> Alice's mum said she was going to a Christmas party in July. <laughs> in my experience, when grown-ups lie, it's never a good sign. Alice's mum loves herself. But even she wouldn't get dolled up that much to show off to the girls at the office. That's not the way to work. <laughs> and though I didn't know it then, that's the moment things started to go wrong for me and Alice. But for now, there was the ripped skirt to get over. What should we do to get back in what? Mum's good books? I don't know. <sighs> Tidy your room? Stuff that. That's boring. I know. Let's make her a cake. Oh, yeah. Chocolate and strawberry and lemon.
Yes, that's me. I'm off to work. Remember? She's grounded. She's got a name! And if I find out that you've let her out... OK, OK. Mwah. Don't break anything. Then, there's my big brother, Callum. He thinks he's way cool. And that's my doll, Melissa. She's really special to me. But I'm always knocking her over and dropping her down the loo. And I know, I'm supposed to be grounded, but I've only gone and had the best idea in the world. Ugh. Callum's number one hobby. Gemma, because you're not welcome. Alice wouldn't be in trouble if it weren't for you. You're a bad influence. But she's my best friend. And until we meet the headmaster, I shall be keeping her under lock and key. Goodbye. It's okay, Alice. I'm here now. really sweet, but you mustn't stay long. Mum's only gone to the shops. Our five-minute tops came here to give you this. Oh, Jim. Oh, Jim. Oh. you take better care of her than me. Jim, you can't give me Melissa. Look, your grand left her to you. Yeah, but if I kept her, she'd only break or something, wouldn't she? Look, are you sure? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll go and get you a drink. Alice? Yeah? Are you OK? I'm fine. I know this is really bad, but sometimes I read Alice's diary. Gem, here, catch. Usually, she writes really nice things about Gemma? me. Gemma? Gem? Oh. Gemma! And so, this day, I didn't think it'd be any different. I don't know what to do. I feel so awful. I can't tell Gemma. It has to stay a secret. Yet, it's so hard to carry on acting normally. As if we're going to be best friends forever. Just like Gemma wanted. I mustn't tell her my secret. I mustn't, mustn't, mustn't. OK, I've got your drink. I've got to go. Why? Did I take ages? Uh, thanks for Melissa. I 
mustn't tell her myself. I mustn't, mustn't, mustn't. What can be so secret that she can't tell me? lights on, because you're afraid of the dark. You know all my secrets. So how come I don't know all yours? It's difficult. Try telling me. I've... I've got a new best friend. Who is it? secret, Mr. Fang, and I've got to find out what it is. Gemma? You put a comb through your hair. I don't want that headmaster thinking you come from a bad home. supposed to wait. Yep. That's Biscuits. Oh, hi. I'm June, Biscuits' gram. I know. I don't look old in <laughs> Alice, be quiet. Honestly, you're in trouble with the head. You're behaving as if you're in a holiday camp. I feel sick. It was Gemma who did the prank. Well, Alice should have stopped her. Here he comes. Ooh, I like a man in a suit. <laughs> you should beat my granddad then. Gemma. If he's got any sense, he'll split you up. On a scale of one to ten, our telling off was definitely 13.
weren't spitting them, were you? Who, me? Oh, you. I seem to remember you telling me you'd won the splashiest spit competition behind the bike sheds at school. I've grown up a lot since then, Grandad. What did the ogre have to say for himself? The what? The head. Oh. He split me and Alice up till the end of time, and I've got to write an apology letter to Mrs. Manure. Oh, meanie Manure. Yep. And I've got to buy her a new skirt. It's so unfair. But you don't know the half of it yet. 